Knight of Swords in reverse. What is the current situation? We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? What's on this person's mind that Libra is dealing with? The Four of Swords in reverse. Right? How does this person view Libra? The King of Pentacles. Alright, what is in their deepest emotions? The Eight of Swords. Uh, if you've broken up with this person, how do they think about reconciling? And if you're with this person, then how do they want to move forward with you? The Fool. Lovely. Alright, what are the blockages and what's going on behind the scenes? The Two of Cups. What is your advice for Libra? The Five of Cups. Okay. And what is the likely outcome? The world. Alright. Bottom of the deck. Things are going to be in your favor if you were the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel that there's something going to be that is going to be in your favor. Okay, maybe your relationship is going through a transition. You could have gone through a breakup, a separation, but uh, they could have been. Um, uh, a silent treatment between you guys, okay? Maybe there's a lack of communication, which I already see here happening, okay? But yeah, your relationship is definitely going through a transition. This is a phase, okay, which can cause a lot of turmoil within you guys, okay? It's a stormy phase in your relationship, but luck is on your side, okay? There are going to be good, positive, unexpected changes that are going to come into your life, and the wheel is going to start hopping, okay? The, I mean, the wheel is going to start rolling, and it's up to you if you want to hop on or not, okay? But things are going to turn in your favor very soon all right i'm sorry i'm out of the weather a little bit so please bear with me i think a lot of lack of communication here okay the knight of swords in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse but i think communication is coming in if this person has ghosted you if they've taken their time off if they've, if they've taken their space out okay they're thinking of coming and communicating with you, okay? It is on their mind. They want to come out of that isolation mode and they want to come and talk to you. What is the Six of Swords? They want growth and expansion with you. This person wants growth and expansion with you, okay? They see you as marriage material with the Empress here. They see uh, you standing in your power. They realize, you realize your self-worth, your self-value. They realize it, okay? But they want something very solid and commi committed towards you, all right? With the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands here, okay? So this person could have been indecisive for a very long time. But finally, they're very clear about what they want. Again, what they want is you. They want this commitment with you. They want something solid, something very long term with you that's for sure okay they want to give birth to something new they want to create something new they want abundance growth expansion all right all right clarify the page of pentacles in reverse as the current situation you guys are still not communicating why is the page of pentacles in reverse someone's healing here someone's uh getting out of a situation or healing from a situation where they felt very backstabbed and betrayed okay or it could just be someone who is uh not sure okay if they can get something off ground and with the page of pentacles in reverse i feel this person is all talk no action okay it's, they're just constantly procrastinating should i should i not should i should i not and it's all because they want to take action they want to take action okay they want to come out of the cold they're, they're missing you they feel left out they feel abandoned by you. But with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I feel this person is healing from a breakup. Okay, I feel this person is healing from an ending that has been already been done in their relationship in the past. Or this person is healing from a situation where something's come to an end and now it's like, you know what, they want to rise. Okay, uh, the worst is over between you guys and it's just that they're still in that procrastination mode. Okay, they're waiting for the right time to come in and speak to you. However, right now, with the page of pentacles in reverse, I feel this person still does not have anything stable to offer to you, okay? They're still in two minds. They're doubting themselves. Okay, why is the four of swords in reverse on their mind? See, this person wants to rush in. They want to come out of isolation mode. If this person was very aloof from you or if they ghosted you, again, that I'm saying, okay, this person could have been in that mode of... Um... um dissatisfaction okay very complacent they're moving forward they're coming out of that okay because they realize that something's going to be a missed opportunity if they don't take action and they're coming out of that they're coming in to talk to you 
And this person here with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands, this person is very passionate about you. This is almost like rushing in, okay, to talk. This is passionate communication. And with the Six of Wands here, this person wants victory with you, okay? They see success with you. They want to move forward with you victoriously. How do, why does this person see um, Libra as the King of Pentacles? They see you as someone who's very focused on work. Not only work, but focus on stability, so focus on security, focus on commitment. Someone who's taking care of themselves, someone very reliable, someone who could be probably the bread owner of the family, but they see you as financially very, very stable and also stable in every other aspect of their life, of your life. They could also view you as someone who wants commitment, okay, who wants something very stable and long term. All right, why is the King of Pentacles here? So they feel, uh, with the strength in reverse here, they feel that you've given up on this person, okay? They feel you've thrown up, you've thrown up, thrown your hands up in the air, you can't deal with this anymore, and with the Six of Swords here, they could feel that you're moving on, okay? They could feel that you're moving on, and you're not interested, or you're just not wanting to pursue this, okay? They feel you're very focused on everything else but the relationship. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here on this person's side? Okay. Alright, so deep in their emotions, they feel they're losing passion, okay? Either they feel that, you know what, there's going to be a missed opportunity or there's just a lack of a brand new beginning between you guys. But with the Two of Swords in reverse here, they could, you know, this person could have felt, could have taken a very long time in making a decision, okay? Because the Two of Swords is someone who's, who's stuck between a hard and rock place, okay? So, yeah, but they see things very, very clearly. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, I feel that either they see you as, uh, either they're trapped in their head with the Eight of Swords. I feel this person's trapped in their head. They're very attached to the outcome, probably, okay? Or this person is very, very, this person has a lot of expectations, or they feel you have a lot of expectations from them, okay? And with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, they probably feel that it's going to be a missed opportunity, or there's just a delay. They could also see as someone, this could also be someone in their emotions, okay, who probably is losing the interest and losing the passion, okay, within the relationship. I think they're more in their head. They're clear about what they want, but they're not sure if they can make this happen or not. That's what's happening because there's not enough attraction or passion between you guys. Could be. So with the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups, okay, there could be two people involved here, all right? doesn't have to be because below that, again, I see a third party situation, all right? But I don't see this so much as a third party situation. I feel there's someone here, one person with the Queen of Cups, I feel this person is very, very emotional, very compassionate. This person is into family, etc., okay? The Queen of Pentacles is also, but the only difference I see between these two people is that the Queen of Cups thinks very emotional and the queen of pentacles she leaves her emotions aside and she thinks very very logically okay so probably that could be the difference between not us but that could be the difference between you both okay maybe that's what they're stuck in their head they don't know if they should give this an emotional approach if they want emotional fulfillment or they or if they want to give this a practical approach okay they're stuck in their head though no one's doing this to them okay it's not as bad as they think it is, okay? But they're choosing to stay in that place. They're choosing to be stuck. Sometimes this could also be someone who's choosing not to take action, you know? I'm choosing not to take action. I'm, I'm probably clear about what I want, or I'm just, you know, or they're just, it could also be that they're indecisive, all right? At the same time, the two of swords and reverse, yes, it does mean having clarity, but sometimes it can mean indecision also, okay? And uh, they're just not, they're just not sure if this is, they may feel, that this could be a false start, okay? The fool, that's how they want to move forward with you. They want to take this leap of faith. They want to take this risk with you, okay? They want a new beginning with you. Why the fool? Yeah, they want to release. So here, I'm not seeing this as with the Eight of Cups and the Devil in Reverse, okay? So I'm not seeing this as someone walking away. I'm seeing this as someone who's walking away from something that was very, very toxic, okay? So I think this person is stuck or was stuck in a toxic relationship, okay? And now they're ready to move on from that relationship. They're moving on from something that doesn't make them happy. And they want to take this brand new leap of faith with you, okay? They want this new beginning with you. Um, they want to start from ground zero, okay? Or 
this is someone who thinks that this situation was very toxic the relationship was toxic they're releasing that toxicity they're not attached anymore they're being behaving very detached in a good way and they're walking away from something that doesn't make them happy okay with the world reverse and the tower here i feel that this person feels there's unfinished between business between you guys and with the tower here this person could have had some sudden re revelation or they something could just have happened all of a sudden and they just feel like you know what like i want to do this i want to do this with libra yeah i want to move forward with libra what you don't see coming or what's going on behind the scenes is with the two of cups here i feel there's a relationship coming in with you okay this person loves you you love them okay there is mutual love between you guys that's what you don't see coming so th this could be the blockages that you both love each other but i feel you both are drifted apart in each in your corners okay you've gone in that corner they've gone in this corner okay but now all of a sudden one person realizes that you know what like i've been very non-communicative i've been doubting myself doubting the potential of this relationship but now i'm gonna come and get it okay because there's one person here who's very stuck in their head okay they're refusing to see the reality they're refusing to see the positive side or the positive aspect of the relationship. They're seeing of how things cannot work out rather than seeing how things are possible. Okay, that's what this one person is doing. All right, time for the two of cups. Time for the two of cups. Yeah. Okay, so this person again, I'm saying, I'm getting, this person is moving out of that phase of where they were in a state of shutdown. Okay, they were in a state of shutdown emotionally. They're just moving forward. Okay, they're healing. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. This is a very good energy. Okay, I really like this. So basically, they want to come in and offer you something solid, something stable, something committed. Okay, they want the family. They want the kids. They want the hamster. They want everything with you. They see longevity with you. Okay, with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, they're ready to let go of and they're healing of being, feeling betrayed or backstabbed again. Again, I'm getting this person could have been coming from a past relationship where they could have been really, really hurt. Or this is you within the relationship where they felt backstabbed and betrayed and they're trying to heal. They're trying to get over that pain. Okay, from being really, really hurt. And with the Four of Cups in reverse here, they're no more in that zone of, um, um, you know, it could be someone who's fearing rejection, okay? And probably this person, the kind of offers that this person was giving you, they were not content, you were not content, or they were not satisfied. But they're finally, I think, ready to come in and make you an offer, okay? Or you could be ready to give them an offer. Because they feel if they stay in that energy for a very long time, they're going to have a lot of missed opportunities, okay? They almost see it like that, but that's why they're coming in with the King of Wands here and uh, the Hangman in reverse. This person is no more keeping you on hold, okay? They're not going to keep you on hold. They're coming in. They're coming in with passion. They find you very passionate. They find you very attractive. And uh, they're coming in to take action. And they're coming in to give you this two of cups. All right. They're, they have a relationship coming in. That's what you don't see coming because this person's being very aloof right now. All right. Wise. Your advice is the five of cups, okay? So I'm hearing that, you know, don't cry over spilt milk, okay? What is done is done, all right? Don't invest your energy into something that is already over and gone, okay? Move on. If someone's done you wrong, forgive, all right? Forgive, let go, let it go, release, forgive them, okay? And it's like, you know what? If you really suffer a loss, grieve it. Go through the process, okay? And start the healing procedure, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Why is the Five of Cups here as advice? Maybe one of you is holding on to a grudge. Why for the Five of Cups? Yep, yeah. see? You have a relationship coming in. You need to make this transition, okay? There is reconciliation. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. This is so good. Your relationship is ready to move into calmer waters, okay? There's someone here who's coming in with stability, okay? They're looking at you with the King of Pentacles and they're coming to offer you something solid, something stable, something committed, okay? They want reconciliation with you. They want to be with you on the same page. They think logically, I think, with the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Think very, very logically, okay, about this situation. Five of Cups is a very emotional approach. That's all Cups, that's only emotions, okay? And you, that's a lot of regret. The Five of Cups is an energy where if you stay too long in it, you're headed towards depression. And when you're headed towards depression, it's a period of inaction. You're just not going to feel like doing anything. You're just going to keep focus on the past, 
or focusing on the past, you're going to keep looking at every negative aspect of what you went through and what's the point, right? You're going to sink in more and more and more. So what the advice is, think about this very logically, let go, forgive, move on. And if you don't want to move on, then give this person another chance if they come in, okay? Because they're coming in with the 10 of pentacles, all right? This person is definitely coming in with commitment, all right? The likely outcome with the world here, yes, you are closing up chapters, you're shutting an old cycle and starting a new cycle. I just want to know if this is with this person or without this person. Try for the world. What is the world here as the likely outcome for Libra? We have the Fool and the Three of Cups, so yeah. This person wants to start a brand new chapter with you. You guys are going to start a new cycle with each other, okay? You're going to take the sleep of faith with them. That's how they want to move forward with you. You guys are on the same page and with the three of cups here, there's reconciliation. You're going to have a reason to celebrate with this person, okay? Uh, it's just that uh, with the judgment in reverse here, I feel that someone's still going to be indecisive, okay? That's a little indecision, okay? Someone's not listening to their wake-up call. There's a huge wake-up call, okay? A rude awakening almost like, you know, but you're not listening to it, okay? The universe is trying to ask you to reconcile with this person, but there's one person here who's just holding back, you know, because you don't trust this person. Could be this person with the Eight of Swords because they're very stuck in their head. They just don't want this to be a false start is what I'm hearing. Because with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it could be that this person, uh, maybe this person feels that you just want to have fun without commitment, okay? It could be, it could be anything, but yeah. The advice is don't hold on to regret, okay? If someone's done you wrong, forgive and learn your lessons, all right? But you have a reconciliation coming in, you have something stable coming in, okay? So yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below and let me know if this resonates with you. Um, like, share, subscribe, that'd be really cool. And if I can see this, if you need a personal reading, my information is going to be down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.